Hi everyone, this is Dr. Rohit Khatakar. I'm an endodontist practicing in Mumbai and the founder of Vision Micro Dentistry Training Academy. Today I would like to share with you some clinical tips on taking radiographs, more specifically about the exposure settings, the positioning and the identification of canal when it comes to endodontic radiography. So let's take a look at the machine that we'll be using. The machine I'm using here is the CS2300P from K-Stream. This is a cordless or a wireless device which enables you to get the same kind of output that you would get from your wall mounted X-ray machines or units. Okay. Let's have a look at the functioning of this device. Uh, the weight of this device is roughly about uh, 1, 1.5 kg. So it is fairly easy to handle with just one hand. When I switch on this device, you will see a lock on the display. This means that when the device switches on, it's in a lock mode. We cannot take the radiographs with it. So I press on this light button over here. And now my device is enabled to take radiographs. So you can also see the battery over here. And there is a reading here which says DR. When I press on this, it will change to CR and FL. So these stand for film, phosphor plates and digital radiography. So this FL denotes film, DR denotes digital radiography or RVG and the CR denotes phosphor plates. So depending on the type of sensor that you use, you can choose these settings. There is also an adult and a child mode. So there is an adult mode which, which is denoted by the icon over here and once I press on the second button, it shows a small icon which denotes a child mode. So the first button over here uh, which shows a molar is for the presets which are available with the machine. So you have settings for lower molar, you have settings for bite wing, you have settings for uh, anteriors as well as for upper molars. So depending on the tooth that you are going to uh, shoot the radiograph for you can get the preset settings okay uh, on an average i prefer to keep the settings as low as possible as according to the alara principle as low as reasonably possible settings is what i prefer so for a molar usually i will keep the settings between 0.1 to 0.2 uh, probably for an anterior i would keep it on the lower side and those suffice. Uh, although there might be some variations in the preset, uh, these are the settings I normally keep. So let's take a situation here where I'm going to take a radiograph for a mandibular second molar using my RBG sensor. The sensor I'm going to use is my Care Stream 142. And let's take a look at the typical settings that are recommended by the manufacturer for this. So first I am going to adjust the time, type of sensor I am going to use. So we will switch our mode to DR. Then I will switch the mode to adult. So either it is for a child or an adult. And then I will choose the molar that I am going to use it for. So 0.21 seconds is the recommended setting by the manufacturer for mandibular molars. So when we take a radiograph for a mandibular molar, few things that I need to keep in mind is one that I keep my sensor vertically so that I am able to record the crown as well as the root and some of the periapical area. On this particular sensor you will also see a horizontal line which ideally needs to be parallel to the occlusal surface of the tooth so that we know that our sensor has been placed parallel to the entire tooth structure. Now let's have a look at the x-ray that we will be taking using this technique. So this, the 142 sensor is on an always steady mode which means that at any given point of time I will just place the sensor inside and shoot the radiograph and the image will immediately get transferred on my screen. Now this machine is a capacitor based machine which also has an inbuilt battery which means that at a time I can take around 5 to 6 radiographs on an average after which I need to put the machine back on the charging station. It takes about 5 seconds to charge the entire battery after which multiple radiographs or additional radiographs can be taken. 
as opposed to units which are using only a battery they don't they have a limited shelf life which is usually about 3 to 4 years capacitor based units will definitely last you for a much longer time another good tip to take radiographs for maxillary posterior teeth or molars is to take the patient in a supine position and then record the radiograph One of the main problems that most clinicians face is when we take radiographs for our uh, working length or for our master cone or sometimes even post-op radio radiographs, we are always in uh, doubt whether we are looking at the lingual canal or the buccal canal. So, how do we identify whether we are going to adjust the length in our buccal or the lingual canal? So, that's where the slob rule helps us. The slob rule stands for same lingual opposite buccal. In this rule, typically we need to take a series of two or three radiographs which give us an idea whether we are looking at the lingual or the buccal canal uh, while we take our radiographs. So, a good way to simplify this is by taking a radiograph which is always done from a distal shift which means that the head of my x-ray machine is going to be towards the distal and the cone of the machine is going to be pointed towards the medial side of the tooth. When I take a radiograph like this, what happens is that the lingual canal is always towards the inside, which means it is always tilted towards the head of the tube, that is distal. So, same lingual, which means the distal, which is the head of my tube, is where my lingual canal will be located, and opposite buccal, which means buccal which is the opposite side of the distal surface that is towards the mesial is where I can expect my buccal canal to be. So this rule can be used for all your posterior teeth where you have two or more molars which are present whether it is a buccal or a lingual canal or if you have mid mesial canals or if you have a case where there is an MB2 you will always be able to easily identify where your lingual or parietal canal is and where your buccal canal is positioned. So if I had to take a head on x-ray, I would place my sensor inside and the x-ray tube would be placed perpendicular to it. When I say distal shift, that means I will shift the head of the x-ray unit towards the distal and the cone will be towards the opposite side. Okay. So typically when I take radiographs for lower molars with multiple canals, this is the position that I would place it in. So I hope this video was useful for you and the clinical tips that I gave you were useful for you for taking better dental digital radiographs. Thank you and have a good day.